and all my friend made it other than me. 500 rupees, 365 days of managing. Do what you want, just don't come last. Now we're sitting at his room and there's the hall of fame and the stack of full of trophies. So we'll ask a pretty basic question and the most obvious question which is what made you fall in love with the game of football? So, you know, I started playing football very late to be honest and uh, it was by chance. It was not that I always wanted to be a footballer or anything. So in school, uh, I was in class 4 and all my friends had gone for the school team uh, tryouts and all my friends made it other than me. I was being fat and chubby that time. I have become again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not so, that chubby. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, that really made me feel bad because all my friends are training, playing, enjoying yeah. themselves and I'm just watching from outside. So I told my dad that I want to train, I want to play, let's see, I want to get into the school team next year, you know, because I could see them playing with their friends, going out, having fun during school hours, you know, competing against other, other schools and I really wanted to be a part of that. So since that day, I think I trained 365 days. And every day? Every day. And next year when the selections actually happened again. I was hoping to get in and I did. So not only just that, I was also the captain. Right. So you know it was a big huge jump and I knew that you know if you want to do something and really um, achieve it. So that feeling of you know that hard work, playing with your friends, getting dirty, yeah. the mud, the grass, the fresh air, waking up early, the disciplined life. Everything was so attractive, you know, when people are cheering for you when you're playing, everything was so nice and uh, it just kept me so motivated in uh, doing what I like. So, I just went forward and today here I am. You were a Lamarch boy, right? Yes. Lamarch yes. from the beginning. In the Martinia and you can say I started there like most uh, footballers in the world. I also started my football in school. And I was really grateful that they supported me throughout my journey. The next question is, how did this love of football actually go on to be a career for you? Like, as a player, you started off as a player, right? So how did this start? Like, yes, I want to be a player. When did this strike your mind? Like, I have to be a professional right now. Again, back to school, when I was playing. A football coach. Mr. Rajaroy had once told me that uh, they are looking for a central midfielder on first division team and I was a central midfielder at that point of time. So he sent me for trials and I think I was only 14 if I am not wrong. And I just went to see how it's going to be. I was really nervous, scared because you are playing with guys who have been playing for so many years with professionals and from school football to professional is a huge jump. Yeah. So when I went there, I was surprised that they did keep me back and they actually signed me. They signed you? They signed me at the age of 14. I was playing in the CFL Division 1. And I got good match time, I got good experience. And from there, because I was so young, I got called into the state team. From there, after state team, I got called into the national team. And then, you know, it just picked up one after the other. It just gained momentum and then things. It was back. just, uh, the rhythm was there. God's grace, everything went well, one after the other, and I made it. Uh, you are the youngest A license coach in India. Youngest, 26 years of age. How does that feel? It really feels good because uh, knowing that I'm capable of managing at that level, you know, people from AIFF and AFC think that I'm capable of managing that level at this age. I'm really happy. Really thankful and I'm really excited as well you know, to see what the future holds. We have been talking a bit serious right now, so let's know about your favorite team. Like 
not Indian team obviously we know that your favorite team in world football so I think people football, have guessed it right yeah you can see it all over <laughs> we have Arsenal everywhere the Gunners you know true Gunners fan because from childhood I always uh, admired the way they used to play and it's very attractive football and I was fortunate lucky enough to train in their facility at a very young at age, very young age yes. right. through a youth development program that can happen across the country and 15 of us we had gone to Arsenal you know to train with the youth set up and right. uh, it was brilliant and when I actually saw how they train their philosophy how the club runs the players up front and personal it was just a life changing moment and uh, since that day hardcore Arsenal it's owner you you got that ball, you signed that ball. How did it feel when you like you saw those players? They're signing the ball for you, the current players of Arsenal at that time. It was crazy, crazy. The like, world, world is crazy. Like, my hands were shaking in the, in the ball. My hands were literally shaking. You have Fabregas that time. Right, Fabregas. Yes. You have Van Persie. You had Adebayo, and uh, some such Unbelievable, top players right? at that point of time. Man. They are right in front of you and they are so friendly, they are so open, they have no attitude, they have no ego, and they are such amazing human beings and they gave out time to sign the ball, take some photographs with me and it was just an amazing experience. And for a fan and that too at that age, that must have been a dream come true for you at that time. a lot of people who were so jealous of me, <laughs> they I will be. the pictures with that ball. They will be your friends at that time. It was, uh, I got a lot of mixed reviews yeah. so many people were so happy so many people were so jealous <laughs> and people thought it's fake but yeah but uh, it's not I saw the ball it's like actually genuinely signed yes I uh, I don't know many people think it's a fake ball but it's not it's only one in existence yeah. I feel and it's priceless to me being an Arsenal fan this is gold you have managed before you've managed Mirava Punjab you have managed more middle, right so What's the difference, like the level of pressure, the technicalities, the way you have to behave, like not behave, behave is not the right word, the way you have to manage the players is I think the right word, players, different players have different egos, different characters and how do you manage, like what's the difference between the two clubs? So basically in uh, Mohammedan Sporting, you have pressure from fans, you have pressure from officials, there is not one person running the club but there are many people running the club and uh, they all expect uh, something in return when they appoint you, you know, as the coach. So that is one thing I learnt working in Bengal that pressure is tremendous. Now talking about Minerva, yes, they are league champions, you know, and playing in the AFC Cup, that pressure is different. But I felt so warm and so welcome and so comforted you can say from Mr. Ranjit Bajaj because he gave me such a big platform, he gave me this opportunity and he never made me feel like I was working for him. I always felt like I was working with him. Right. You know, so I never had that unnecessary pressure which we call it as a coach or as a manager that you have to win, you have to do this, you have to you know. Uh, Ranjit Bajaj likes to play good football. Of course, winning and losing is part of the game. He wants, everybody wants to win, nobody wants to lose. But uh, he likes to play attractive football, and if you do so, he's very happy. He's a gem of a person, and it's a pleasure working with him, to be honest. We have heard something about, like which you shared with me, is you got 500 rupees for 365 days of managing. Explain what, what it is, like I can't see anything logical in that, so you can just explain what it is. So basically when I did my first coaching badge, uh, this is, I don't know how many people will ever believe this, but when I did my first coaching badge, I was actually looking forward to working with some professional clubs, you know. And at the age of 20, nobody's going to give you a club to manage. Nobody. I was literally going to clubs in Kolkata, in the Maidan, knocking on the door and saying, give me an opportunity, you know, I have a license, I want to work, give me an opportunity, I don't have to do anything, just let me be with us, uh, head coach, let me assist him, let me be there with him, I want to work in a professional setup. So, 
nobody was giving me the opportunity no one like not a single person. not a single person everyone i went to they all turned me down they said you're too young are you crazy this is maidan is different yeah, this is football. Kolkata maidan, football. Kolkata football. Kolkata football yeah so they said that uh, it takes some time come back later but again mr jodhi mukherjee i'll never forget it he gave me his club he had bought a club that time he was assistant secretary of ifa and he gave me the club my first club calcutta united it was division 5 like right? that's the lowest division you can in uh, csl yes that's the lowest division right and he gave me that club and he trusted me at such a young age people just start playing football at that day and i just start coaching and he just gave me the club and said go ahead do whatever you want do what you want just don't come last you know and everyone was surprised at the end of the league we were league champions you know that's so big your that first big. first venture as a manager and yes and turning uh, out to be champions of that league that he gave me the opportunity to work he we i had no monetary contract with the club as such but the day we were champions on in an envelope he gave me a 500 rupee note you know and that old 500 rupee note yeah the old before, was before the before, monetization yes. demonetization and i still have that note you know that note is priceless to me uh, so you learn so much while coaching coaching in a coaching course and coaching in practical life is completely different so that 500 rupees was you can say what 5 lakh rupees for me and i still kept it intact you know that's my first earning as a coach so from there when we were league champions i was given i don't know how i was given the opportunity to be the coach of the west bengal state junior team and i was surprised the whole bengal football circuit everybody was surprised you know like who is this guy he's only yeah. 20 years old and he's coaching the junior team he himself is a junior player you know yeah. so <laughs> i got a lot of uh, mixed reactions from football industry in bengal but ifa they trusted me with the bengal team and i was also surprised but i never gave up we worked hard and we won the all india football federations junior national championship so like the team from bengal went for went to face the uh, team from the other states we played against each and every state yeah. in the country and we won against each and every state and that was the highlight after that i got opportunities to work for, uh, you know with aiff in the grassroots yeah. department yeah. in the youth department then uh, as a development officer yeah. and then opportunities just started coming up i just wanted to work and that one uh, opportunity i was given i just made the most of it and today now i'm coaching an ili club this is a question which each and every one is going to ask you as you have uh, you have been appointed as the manager of minerva punjab who is ranjit bajaj actually what the media speculates on him and what he is in reality you you are the best person to talk about it so you know people have a lot of weird uh, thoughts about the man he's very famous to be honest more famous than any player right. in our team in twitter as well yes but you know to be honest when i was uh, given the opportunity to work in minerva the offer was there i also had a different perspective about the man about the club so when i went there i did not sign the contract first day i reached i waited for a couple of days i had a look around the club worked with him for a few days and then you won't believe i heard so many different things but in reality it's completely opposite he is a gem of a guy people say he does things wrong but what is he doing wrong he's won the i league second division he's won the under 13 i league under 15 i league under 18 i league in the same year i league yes so what is he doing wrong he is a guy who spends all his money all this time everything on football i and he will do anything for his players for his staff and for his management he is so dedicated 
you know, one day at night, I think it was uh, 12.30 and uh, I was on my phone and I got a call from him. He wanted to discuss something about some players. So you can imagine 12.30 at night, the owner of a team is calling you up and discussing something about football. So you can imagine at night also at that time he's thinking about football. So he just loves the game and he's so knowledgeable about the game. He is very honest and very vocal. He is a person who will say something to your face and he's a man of his words. He will not say anything behind anyone's back and he will not say anything wrong in front of anybody. So if he says something, he will do it. And if he tells you something, for example, he told me when, uh, when I first met him, he said, I wanted to be the next head coach of Minor. I was shocked. I thought he was joking. And he actually gave me the offer letter yeah. to become the head coach of Minerva and uh, so I've seen so many different things, so many things even in a training session, training match to be honest. Uh, one of our players got injured in the far end and he sits in the far, uh, far end and he watches the game you know. So one of our players got injured, he fell down, he was not getting up. Before our physio could reach, he was on the pitch looking at our player you know. So it's not necessary for him and not required for him to come onto the pitch. But that's how much he loves his players, he loves his club. He spends all his money, all his time, all his efforts on that club. And you can see the national team in the league set up is full of his players. Yeah, th th he's producing, Minerva Punjab is producing players like, it's like, it's like a player factory for the youth system. Yes. And they have the, probably they have the best youth system in Indian football right now. He has, the main thing I see in him is that his dedication towards the club. It's passion. It's he's there early in the morning and he goes home late at night. He's always with us. And what people project him and what people think about him is completely different to what he actually is in real life. He's such a nice guy, such a humble person and such a friendly boss. You can say, you know, I can go to him and talk to him about anything, any time of the day and he's always there. So I felt so warm, so welcome in that club that uh, I'm really looking forward to working with him and for him right? because we are both very passionate about football and that's what 